waxed or shaved my entire body and my eyebrows. Actors have to do a lot to prepare for their roles, and when it comes to shaving their heads, some aren't afraid to go all the way. While you'd think that the biggest stars in Hollywood would be able to use bald caps and makeup to preserve their million-dollar locks, the bravest of the bunch take the plunge and just shave it all off and never look back. You said that I would still be pretty even if I shaved my head! Kristen Stewart has never been afraid to make brave choices for her film roles. I don't care. So when it came to her character in the deep-sea thriller Underwater, it was the actress herself who decided to shave her head. I've been wanting to do this for a long time just for novel's sake, just because at some point in your life you want to yeah. be able to do that. <laughs> she was playing a mechanical engineer, and during the shoot had to get in and out of a complicated and restrictive dive suit multiple times a day. She said it was just easier to not have long hair to deal with, as they didn't have to try and get inside her suit to fix her hair before calling action. Um, I don't know, I have to put on like a lot of helmets and stuff, so it'll just be easier for my hairdresser, you know? Millie Bobby Brown famously shaved her head for Stranger Things when she was only 12 years old. Even though it was for a role, the young actress said it was the most empowering day of her life. When you get to this stage with your hair, mm -hmm. it's gonna get to a stage where you can't do anything with it. <laughs> she said she used to hide behind her hair and thought her beauty and femininity was connected to her long locks. But after cutting them all off, it made her want to inspire other girls to not focus on their outward appearances, but instead, what is inside. Wise words for such a young person. Well, I think letting them be who they want to be. When Karen Gillan posted a video of the day she shaved her head for Guardians of the Galaxy, it became clear just how nervous she was for the big chop. But when given the chance to star in a life-changing Marvel movie, there are no limits to how far most actors would go for the part never worked on a film of this scale before, so I didn't really know what to expect. Luckily, she has always had a great sense of humor about it. And fortunately, she was able to negotiate to keep her hair for the rest of the Guardians and Avengers movies. You can take risks, and that's when the interesting stuff happens. Model-turned-actress Cara Delevingne shaved her head completely bald for her role in the film Life in a Year, in which she plays a woman with cancer who was given one year to live. I wouldn't have done it without the opportunity of doing it for a film, but I'm so glad. I really recommend it. In order to give the role the respect she felt it deserved, Kara wanted to shave from day one, even though her agents and managers fought her on it. Fortunately, she went ahead and did it and was thrilled with her choice. It's nice to let them free and wild. Young, wild, and free. To fully embody her character Gypsy Rose in the act, Joey King knew she was going to shave her head for real because it was in the contract. It was really a one of the most special projects I've ever worked on. Before the date that she knew her hair was coming off, she had fun with it by dyeing her hair blonde, then blue, then cutting her bangs. Even though it was a huge change at first, she grew to love it, and it really allowed her to totally get lost in the role. I had read the script uh, of the first episode, and I was like, oh my god, this is insane. Amanda Stenberg shaved her head for the movie When Hands Touch back in 2018. Even though the actor isn't afraid to go there for a part, the experience was very emotional for Amandla. I can't even begin to summarize all of them. Right before the cut was scheduled to happen, they had just come out as non-binary and said that having shorter hair made them feel more connected to their gender identity. But they also said it was challenging because their hair had become a beacon of self-love and self-acceptance for many young people who watched them on screen. I felt like my life was refreshing Instagram as opposed to refreshing life. Not only did Natalie Portman have to shave her head for V for Vendetta, she actually had to do it on camera. Portman said that the experience was really traumatic for her character, but for her, it actually felt nice to throw vanity away during shooting and focus on the work. Well, it's sort of like the losing fear thing that Evie goes through, is that fear is an element of our lives. Because it was shaved in the scene as an act of violence against her character, she was so focused on being in the moment that she doesn't actually have any personal memories of it. You tortured me. Why? When she got the part, Anne Hathaway became determined to shave her head to play Fantine in Les Miserables, despite both the director and her agent's protests. Because it happened on camera, Anne had absolutely no idea what it was going to look like afterwards, and was really nervous to look at herself in the mirror. When she finally worked up the courage, she said she looked like a version of her little brother, which was actually really comforting. I was really scared to look in the mirror. 
I, I, it took me about a half an hour to muster up the courage. Charlize Theron decided that her now iconic character Furiosa should have a shaved head for Mad Max Fury Road. This was an exciting one for me. Since the chop, she has become a huge advocate of the experience and thinks all women should shave their heads at least once in their lifetime. Theron also said that suddenly she was 20 minutes earlier for everything because she saved so much time not having to deal with her hair. Which, honestly, sounds pretty nice. Very, very long time to figure it out. And for a good six weeks there, I didn't think it was going to happen. For me, Earl, and the dying girl, Olivia Cook shaved her head for real and on camera. Before it happened, she was way more nervous than excited for the big moment. But she wanted to do justice to the part and didn't want to look weird under a bald cap. So she went for it. They filmed the process to use in the actual film, which was really emotional and turned out to be a really powerful experience for both Cook and her co-star Thomas Mann. Like her hair is there on the ground, like she actually went through this transformation. <laughs> yeah, you there. can't go back from yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Natalie Dormer was up for anything when it came to her casting in The Hunger Games, and that included shaving her head. In the book, her character Cressida is described as having a shaved head with tattooed vines all over it, but it never specified exactly how much of her head was shaved. She was willing to do her entire head for the part, but director Francis Lawrence decided on the half-shaved look because it looked more capital. Every single day it was clean shaven to, uh, to put the tattoo, the transfer on every day. Jared Leto is known for his long, gorgeous locks and for his dramatic transformations into any role he takes on. Since he spares no expense when preparing for a role, when it came to cutting his hair and shaving off his eyebrows for the Joker, the actor was all in. Once his long, brown locks were cut off, his eyebrows were gone, and his hair was dyed green, he was almost unrecognizable, just the way he likes it. I fell in love with the Joker. I really think underneath it all, he's kind of a sweetheart. Hugh Jackman might be more famous for his Wolverine updo, but as soon as he hung up his claws and said goodbye to the role that made him an international movie star, he wasn't afraid to cut it all off to play Blackbeard and Pan. He said that since he is by nature a lazy guy when it comes to his hair, he was more than happy to get rid of it after so many years spent maintaining it for his X-Men role. I think it helps create this potentially limitless world. Sia's musical movie Music was controversial for many reasons, so much so that it overshadowed the fact that Kate Hudson shaved her head for her role in it. When the director suggested that Hudson cut her famous blonde locks, the fearless actress just went for it. Sia were doing the honors of shaving the head. James McAvoy is no stranger to shaving his head. He first did it for Professor X in X-Men First Class and had to do it again for his roles in Split and Glass. The first time he did it, X-Men director Brian Singer actually kept his hair in a bag and locked it away in a safe in his home. Which is… a choice. I mean, it's easy and I don't have to do anything with it. Once you've shaved your head for a role, no one out there can say that you aren't a committed actor. Especially for those who actually did it on screen, like Anne Hathaway. Which one of these bald roles do you think is the most iconic? We love them all, but we are always on Team Furiosa.